what is up? I'm going to hit you with something that my dad used to tell me. My dad used to say this. He said this a lot. He said, if you want to climb over the fence, then you have to throw your hat over and get it. My dad used to always say that to me. If you want to climb over to the other side, you have to throw your hat over the fence to go get it. If you want to go on the other side of the brick wall, if you want to go on the other side of the fence, throw your hat over and go get it. And all that means is that whatever you're trying to do, you have to take away all your other options and only have one option but to achieve whatever the hell you're trying to achieve. So if you're trying to control what you're trying to eat, you have to force yourself to have that one option. So what the, what the hell does that mean? How does that apply to me? That means if I'm trying to eat more vegetables, when I open up my fridge, there can only be fruit and vegetables in the fridge. If there's chocolate, if there's donuts, if there's junk food, then I'm gonna have the option to eat junk food. So throw your hat over the fence, just buy clean food, and that's what you'll eat. Throw your hat over the fence and go get it. Just give yourself that one option. You only have one option to do what you're trying to do. And my dad used to always say that. You have to limit your options. If you lay down with dogs, you're gonna wake up with fleas. You understand what I'm saying? That's why, by the way, I'm a dog lover. I had a dog, his name was Pogi. He lived 19 years and six months. He was an awesome dog, he was a border terrier. I miss him. Man, I miss that guy. I brought him home from the pound when he was just a puppy. I was just a puppy. I was 19 at the time. Yeah, I brought him home from the pound. I thought, I thought he was a Labrador. Because he's a puppy. He was just a puppy when I brought him home. I thought he was going to grow really big into a Labrador. But he turned out to be a mutt border terrier. Ah, uh, 19 and a half years old. Anyways, I digress. So whatever you're trying to achieve, you have to give yourself one option. If you have plan B, C, D, E, F, G, and it goes all the way to Z, you're gonna fail, right? You know, it's a lot easier to do a marathon or an Ironman if you sign up for it. But if you keep having the idea that, hey, I'm gonna do a marathon, hey, I'm gonna do an Ironman, if you just have the idea and you keep, and even if you're exercising towards that goal, like every day you wake up and you run and you say, hey, eventually one day, one day I'm gonna do this, one day I'm gonna do a marathon, one day I'm gonna do an Ironman, that one day will never come until you sign on, until you sign the dotted line and you say, hey, until, until you sign the dotted line at the Ironman event that says, if you die or get hurt in any way at this event, it is not the Ironman organization's fault. It is your dumbass fault for trying to achieve this feat. Please sign this waiver that if you die, no one is responsible but you. I love those Iron Man forms. Those Iron Man forms are hilarious. They should just write it. They should just write it so a normal person can understand can, can understand it. They should just say, hey, if you die or get hurt at this event, it's your fault. But instead you have to read in between the lines and it's not that clear, but you sign the paper anyways. Anyways, I digress even more. Whatever you're trying to achieve, throw your hat over the fence, go get it. Eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well, because what you eat is how you feel your body and how you sleep is how you recharge your battery. Damn it, if you're still watching four minutes and 16 seconds into this video, if you're still watching, I'm gonna hit you with something that can really change your life. Anytime you listen to someone talking, you are actually listening to their thoughts, okay? So what the hell does that mean, okay? You have to protect yourself from all the noise out there in the world. There's so much noise going on. There's so much, so much advertising. So many people are competing for your attention. So take note to what you pay attention to. Whatever you pay attention to, that's your actual thought. So pay attention to what you pay attention to. 
That's a good one. Pay attention to what you pay attention to. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe.